Hello and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We have found out that Anna has, uh, like, her hair was used to curse her, and that it's probably somewhere in the cellar. And hopefully that'll help us uncurse her. So let's get on Roach and head back. Move it. Hopefully we can get through the uh, bog all right. And that they haven't killed them each other back here. Right. They seem to be alright. All things considered. Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crows probably cursed your mother. Took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar into the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. I'm going alone. I this is Witcher alone. work. This matter concerns us all. We don't know what's in there. Your men will make a lot of noise. More than I'll make alone. I am the Church of Eternal Fire's agent in these lands. It is my duty to go with you. Fine. Just you then. The rest stay here with Anna. Let me go in first. I'll give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. Okay, so we've already been in the cellar, but maybe there's something different now. Just uh, grab a bit of loot, heal up as well. It was over here, I think. Yep. We drop. Okay. And looking Got for it. any clues that there's something in here. Yes, we saw this ritual table before. The eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? Uh -huh. They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Mm -hmm. So how do you know all of this? Is this common? Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially we burned any that we found. Recently we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the Hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. Okay. Um, so there's a risk. What kind of risk? This risk you mentioned. Taken we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. Alright. Let's take a look at these dolls. Um, can we look at what we know about Anna first? Um, so the doll with the red bead. Let's have a look at that one. Hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg. This cannot be the one. Okay, we'll look at the other dolls. Uh, Alright. I'll look at the others. Doll of the bird feathers? Hmm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. And I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. Well, that might seem obvious. What if it's a ruse, and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? No. You're looking too much into that. Let's look at the others. Doubtful. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. Well, if the symbol has to represent Anna, then they can't employ trickery, would be my logic. Uh, the Violet Hollyhock Bloom? Hmm. This is interesting. A 
doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. You believe this to be the doll? Could be. Well, look at the others. Might very well be, but I can't be sure. It's Should number one the on others. the list of things so far. Doll for the human ear. Human ear attached to this one. Belong to one of the peasants, doubtless. Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. Oh, okay, so it's the violet hollyhock bloom. Which we wouldn't have this known unless we uh, with a flower. talked so to the Baron. Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favourite flower. You believe this to be the doll? Well, he knows her best. We're taking it. I'm unless sure she really hated that taking flower. It. Quick, outside! I hear a werewolf. Mum, oh. you're back. Not a werewolf. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy, I'm dying. She's not well. Raven doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. Well, what's she talking about, Witcher? I guess the crones tricked us. Crones deceived us. Their curse is a death sentence. No way to lift it, at least not in a way that would let Anna live. We broke their spell temporarily, partly. Now it's got to run its course. What? What does that mean? She's dying. It's good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother, Tammy, do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress, so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please, remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Mm -hmm. Seems like we're uh, not going to be enemies with the witch hunters. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. I wonder whether we would be more enemies if. We if... Your pie will await you at Crow Perch. Collected there. I wonder if the Eternal Fire would be as friendly to us if we... Because uh, on this save I was uh, friends with the Eternal Fire in the previous two games. And I'm wondering whether they would be very against us if we uh, had not been friends of the Eternal Fire. I don't know. Or whether this would have happened at all. It's interesting. Went Velen players updated? Interesting. Um, I suppose actually we should talk to uh, these guys before we leave. Like Tamara and uh, the witch hunters. See what they're up to. Hello? Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Hello? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Okay. Well. Slow now. Whoa. I guess we're gonna go and get our payment. We're not going to let his emotional problems come in the way of us getting paid. We did what was asked. We did it well. 
Oh, we could actually, there's a fast travel point back at the uh, orphan village. We should use that. Somewhere around here. Yeah, it's over here. And that allows us to go straight back to Crow's Perch. We've got a quest somewhere? Like, all right, in Novigrad. I think that's no, almost Novigrad. Okay. Let's head and see the Baron. Uh, hopefully it's all for the best. What's happened here? But I'm guessing the Baron might turn back to drink. If he doesn't, that's a good step forward for him. But I think he is. We're going to come back and we're going to find him completely out of his mind. Drunk. Don't have much faith in him here. Ah, oh, he's in the garden. Of course. Kind of makes sense. Not quite in the garden. Oh. Oh. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Do you not think about stopping him? Himself? Or did you boys help him? Fuck you take me for? A murderer? He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Oh, because we he saved the orphans. He cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. Of course I they will. imagine won't. they will. So this is our fault, in the end. Because the, uh... Because we freed the orphans. Anna was then killed. And because we didn't make Tamara come back. What are you people doing? Yeah, let's not have whistling. But yeah, because we killed the orphan. Uh, we saved the orphans. Which then meant that Tamara was killed. Which then meant that he killed himself. Uh, there is... I don't think there's a way we could have seen that coming, but... Nothing here for you. I wonder if there was a better way of doing that. Where that would have worked out best for everyone. Okay. Excuse me? These people. Let's get away from them a little bit so we can stop all the uh, noises and then we'll look at where we're going next. I haven't been here before. Bit of loot. Okay. Right, so. We have been to, uh. Right, we've been to Nova. We haven't been to Novigrad. We're too low uh, level to go to Skelliger. And we're still doing the in series fruit, uh, fruit steps. So let's get rid of the main quest. Let's do some secondary quest. Felon players, we failed because we can't win the uh, card from the Baron because he's dead. Uh, we've got to visit the Soothsayer. But the truth in the stars. Uh, deep in the swampy woods of Eln, there's a roadside altar praising one of the glories of one of the forgotten gods. Okay, and someone could read our fortune for a small fee. The fall of House Raiden. Uh, this is freeing the manor. We can do that one. Wild at heart we can do now. Um, looking for help in finding his wife who disappeared into the woods. Fists of Fury, we've got to go fight, uh, defeat Smithy. 
Okay. We'll do that one first, I think. Fake papers, uh, we don't need any more. There's a race at Crow's Perch. We have to go to Faikal for Kira. So I think we'll go to Faikal next. Looking at it. Yeah. And Witcher contracts. We got a few in of Witcher contracts to do. But I think we'll go do this fight against Smithy. Where is Smithy? Out of curiosity. He's at the end of the crossroads. Right. Perfect. We'll go there, fight him, win all of the fighting trophies, and then we'll go to fight Kyle. Yeah. Maybe we'll come back here and find uh, out what's happened later. Yeah. It's a shame. I think if Anna uh, lived, the Baron might actually have uh, changed his ways, but... Yeah. Let's not think about it. Important thing is, we got a hundred crowns from doing that, and uh, we're off to go and uh, get more money. Get back to our witchering ways. Right. I guess they're not the Baron's henchmen anymore. I guess they're probably all going to be uh, under Smithy's control. Uh, not Smithy, uh, Sergeant's control. Bad to guess. Is it around the back of the inn? Hello? Look to me like a fierce fisted fighter. Just right for our tournament. It's your chance to slap around some yokels, win some coin for the pleasure. You in? Of course I'm in. We're gonna go maximum bet amount. We got a lot of money and we're gonna bet it all. One and all, hear this. Betting on the next brawl will begin in mere moments. The witcher will face Smithy. He'll pound his gob like he pounds hot iron ingots. Okay. Get a couple of hits in. Or just completely destroy him. Try and counter his attack next. Now we can just kill him. Not kill him. Knock him out. Not bad. Might be champion yet. If it's the reigning champion you seek, head to Crow's Perch and ask for the sergeant. Okay. Right. That's 140 crowns there. Uh, I guess we're gonna go back to uh, Crow's Perch and uh, fight the sergeant. Hopefully he's uh, willing to fight us now. All right, Crow's Perch. Yeah, so hopefully nothing's changed too drastically between the time we left. Been what four hours? Be nice if they cleaned up the uh, Baron's body. I don't imagine they will have. Right. Could have used a horse to get up here quicker, but no, I don't need to. Where is the sergeant? Is he around the back here? Yes, they did remove. They've removed the uh, baron. That's good. Hello, Buki. I'm ready. Huh? Look who we have here! Business seems good, even with the baron gone. Life's short, but art's eternal. Mm hmm Let's fight. Uh, full bet amount. Let's start. All right. Come to daddy. Oh. 
Come on, come closer. He was straight in there with the punch. Let's try and counter his attack. Nope. We can get a couple hits in. We dodge around him. There we go. And we got him. And become champion of all venom. If you've not had your fill, you'll find worthy pugilists elsewhere. Plenty of them in Novigrad. Plenty in the Skelliger Isles. You to deserve your company. Fantastic. That that felt pretty good beating him up. It felt uh. Yes. Given that he didn't stop the Baron from hanging himself. Right. Gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time we're gonna go and do what. Kira asked us to do and uh, we'll probably go and do some side quests around the place uh, clean up the area a little bit before we head on thanks for watching see you next time